Hello everyone! Thanks for joining me tonight for a craft night with friends. Uh, my name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish where we make cute embroideries for beginners and I'm here every weeknight at 8 30 p.m. Central Time Monday through Friday. So all right tonight we are uh, quilting our little elephant uh, that we finished last night. I am on location at my parents house so this is my mom's uh, sewing machine here. We're gonna see how that goes. But uh, yesterday we pinned our front together with uh, the batting piece and the back piece. So we're ready to quilt, except for I don't know what to quilt yet. <laughs> so I do have, uh, my mom had a cute idea so I wanted to give it a try, but I have my little clipboard here. I'm gonna scoot you guys over a little bit. I have my little clipboard where I can kind of test draw with with a uh, um, whatever these guys are called a dry erase marker so I thought we could kind of give that a try uh, so she thought it would be kind of fun to do little flowers kind of like our little sunflower here and uh, I said well we did the flowers on uh, um, what did we do it on not the cat a B and the butterfly on the letter B the butterfly one and I didn't do a very good job with that. Hey, Cheryl. <laughs> uh, so I thought we practiced and I'm like, I have a, just such a hard time getting in and out of the shapes. And she's like, oh, you just add a little swirl. So I thought we could practice that a little bit, but I think that'd be cute. Uh, maybe instead of like the butterfly, I had kind of really big, uh, big flowers. Maybe this one we can do like itty bitty flowers with a little swirl, kind of like a daisy chain almost. That'd be kind of cute. We could actually maybe just even go around him in a circle, almost like a, like a little daisy chain. Oh, I kind of like that idea. So I, I just kind of want to give it a try. So I'm going to just draw, I mean, all right, pretend this is the elephant and then this is the letter E here. All right, now I just want to draw them. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> here's, our, here's our little elephant. I was just going to draw the shape of him, but now I want to draw him. Bloop, 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 bloop. There, E. Oh my god, I drew E with four little lines there. There we go. There's our elephant. <laughs> so uh, I'd like to just try, again, here's the real one there. I want to just see what it would look like, like if we did it itty bitty flowers. So we could just do like little swirly flowers and then just kind of add a swirl to get out of it like so. And then, I don't know, I guess add another flower. So I'm wanting to practice more with this dry erase marker and I haven't really done it yet. I just always get a little lost in my, in my free motion quilting, I, I feel like. So it'd be nice to get a little bit better, but I kind of like this idea, just like a little daisy chain around. It's the getting in and out that I'm not great at. And I swear there's got to be a trick somewhere in it, but I don't have it yet. So I got to do some more uh, quilt as you go or um, free motion quilting research. But I think something like that might be kind of interesting. And really, honestly, I don't think we need actually much more than this uh, because uh, we're going to be actually cutting this, cutting this down quite a bit. Um, we're going to be cutting it down to eight and a half inches. This is about 10 inches now. So we're going to be cutting it down to eight and a half inches. And then once it's sewn in the quilt, ultimately it'll be like eight inches. So it really won't be that big. So I don't know. I, I think we just give it a go. Should we just try a couple of those little flowers? Uh, I don't think, like, I don't think we need anything on the outside. I just like... We could add like a little circle in the middle, maybe even too. I'm just no good at getting in and out of spaces. So I'm just gonna have to really think about it each time because I just keep going into more swirls and this is really straight and kind of funny, but I don't know. I think let's just give it a try. We're gonna just jump in today. <laughs> So I actually don't think this is going to take very long, so we might not, not even be here all that long. Um, 
tonight. But all right, I am on my mom's machine. Uh, she has a uh, Bernina, but I think it's, this is a good, like, I would say probably maybe 15 years old at this point too. Um, so it's not like, I mean, it's way more fancy than my vintage machines for sure. I'm going to take some of these pins out already. And you know what? I think I'm going to leave these two pins there. I don't think they're going to get in my way. I guess we just start somewhere, right? Let's just go right here and we will start a little flower. So uh, it'll probably be a little hard to see. I might move you guys a little. Um, you might be able to see a bit better. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This might be how it is for a hair. But we'll see how it goes. Oh man, you guys, we we came here today though and uh, uh, Dad was doing his uh, syrup. And Mom and Dad were making syrup, so that was really, really fun to see. I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of wondering if I should draw out this circle. But you know what? I think we're going to just keep it loose. This is pretty much a circle, like a really nice circle, if I think about it that way. So I'm just going to use the actual motif as a guide here. All right, let's give it a go. So I have the walking foot on. I'm going to bring the, the um, foot up, or the, um, the thread up. I'm gonna remove this guy. I think I'll start on this side because then you guys can see see a little right away. I'll probably actually just start with a flower. Ooh, and let's see. I think I want the needle in the down position. You know, it's just interesting. Like all sewing machines kind of have the same mechanics. Like it has the bobbin and, you know, you gotta work on the tension and, and all that, but it's all just like a little bit different each time. They all have their own little setup. So I'm gonna use these little gloves. Uh, there's no grips. There's no grips on these gloves, but because they're like fabric, they kind of grip onto other fabric, which is kind of cool. All right. Oh my gosh, let's put the presser foot down. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be one of those nights, is it? All right, let's just start with a flower. I think let's do a flower and then I am going to just try and fill in the shape a little bit. And I just want like these little itty bitty bitty ones. Kind of like they're um, like lazy daisy stitches almost. That'd be kind of cute. I'm thinking about it as I'm working on it. All right, and I am going to just kind of make some circles in the middle so it's kind of filling in that shape with a circle. And all right, now I got to do my first, uh, first like squiggle out of here. And I think you guys will be able to see in a second here. So we'll, we'll come around here. All right. I think I'm going to swirl around once and then just start another one up. All right, I'm going to start another one. Uh, you guys will be able to see real soon here. Once I get out from under the sewing machine. Wow, mom's machine is so much smoother than mine. And so much quieter. Alright, let's come out of this again. there so here's our first two little guys oh you love the picture of the sunflower thing oh I know sweetie I know we can't see what we're doing very well here I'm gonna kind of let's see if I can angle down a bit I don't have I'm on location today so I don't have like the greatest it's not completely figured out here tonight but I think maybe let's go like right like so I know you can't can't quite see the machine um, stitching. Oh, Marcia says, looking so cute. Yeah, I think we'll just kind of keep going around here. And I guess you guys can't really see either. Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm on location tonight. It's a little, a little different than normal. Okay, but I am kind of liking that this really is looking like a lazy daisy stitch on um like 
on embroidery a little bit. I suppose that we can always decide if I want, um, if we want to add like extra around the edge later. So we'll see. All right, let's, uh, I, I always get nervous on coming out of the flower. So let's just, um, I always have to think, think it through a little bit. I think we'll, let's come out, out of this one here. All right, <laughs> it's looking kind of cute. All right, I, I am gonna remove this pin that's right here. So we're gonna do some more free motion quilting on uh, um, that granny square quilt that I have uh, soon. I'd like to do a Saturday just marathon stitch along on that. Um, one of these Saturdays coming up, maybe next Saturday would be kind of fun. Next Saturday could be just like a craft day because I wanna finish up that, um, that, uh, punch needle that we're working on too. All right, got it coming. So I'm, I'm going around, I'm near the tail now. So what we're basically doing, this is called free motion quilting, if you haven't seen this before, uh, but we are on just a normal like home sewing machine with, with a darning foot or a free motion quilting foot uh, that basically allows me to move the fabric. It's, it's almost like if you have a pen straight down and instead of moving the pen to draw, you move the paper to draw. Uh, and that's kind of what it feels like. So I'm moving the fabric and that's, that's the drawing. All right, we're uh, going around so far. So this is what we got so far. Uh, it is just like a little daisy chain. I, I, I'd i love to put like little leaves in here and there, but I'm a little scared to do that. So I think we're gonna just kind of go around like this and then we could maybe do more on the outside, like just a, a big gentle uh, swirl maybe that will eventually, it'll get cut off, but it'll it'll look like we've had stuff on the on the edge. And you know what? Maybe we even go back in here and we could trace around the elephant. That might be a good idea. That could be kind of nice. Then, then we're getting a little bit more stitching in. All right, I'm gonna continue. Let's get rid of this pin up here. This bright orange though has been really fun to stitch with. So like I said, I think it's gonna go pretty quick today. Uh, all I have here really is, is working on this, um, this, Oh gosh, whenever I start stitching it, I'm like going into full concentration mode and I can't talk anymore. Um, but all I brought here to work on is this free motion quilting of this uh, elephant or elephant embroidery. But it, I would love to start assembling these soon too. to me that what you meant by I love the picture of the sunflower the the what came with the kits our little uh, freebie of this month I'm so happy you like that I I uh, I'm trying to learn how to paint a little bit better and on the iPad and stuff and that was just really fun to 
really fun to do. Hoping to do more. All right, just to peek here, here it is coming along here again. I know it's a little difficult to see here. Uh, but I'm uh, wrapping around this side. I suppose I could rotate it um, so you can see a little bit better. I could stitch sideways a little bit, but eh, I think I'll stick upright. There, and you guys can see. Okay. I think next time we'll do this a little hair differently, but I think this is looking cute. This really is fun though. I mean, it is just like doodling um, with fabric. And I think the little bit of practice that we did at the beginning is, is super duper helpful. So we're almost all the way around. Maybe, maybe now I'll go from this side so then you guys can see uh, the little, little sketching here. Uh, I need to connect with the original flower soon. Not quite yet, we got a little ways to go yet. Okay, adding another flower, and I think we'll add in one more flower after this one before connecting. So I'm trying to kind of fill fill in the middle a little, a little bit there. All right, uh, where do I need one more flower? This might be enough, actually. I think I'll just add a couple squiggles here. Okay, squiggle, and squiggle, and connect. There we go. All right, I think we got it. Uh, I think we're going to just lift up here and take it off, and I will start somewhere fresh. So let's, let's see how this turned out. Um, I'm going to snip the top, and I think i got to pull these guys Pull that, these guys through a little bit here. There we go. Snip these guys off. And snip the bobbin thread. Oh, it's kind of sweet on the back too. We just get a little, a little subtle bit of um of that that little flower, that little daisy chain. Okay, I kind of really like this design. I could see doing more of these itty bitty flowers. Oh, it's kind of sweet. Here, I'm gonna try and scoot you guys up just a bit so you can see. There, there we go. So not like a perfect circle around, but that's okay. That's it. It's just kind of going around the shape. We could have kind of bumped it out here a little bit more, maybe. But uh, it's kind of cute. I kind of really like it. All right, I'm gonna remove these pins, and then I think. Uh, just because I think let's add some larger swirls around the outside just to give it like some texture on the outside uh, that will get cut off. I think I think this will kind of stay on what we did here, but um, these bigger swirls um, I think will get cut off, but it'll just show as like a little texture in the corners. I think let's do that too. And I might go around and just trace the elephant yet. I think that'd be kind of cool. All right, let's 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 head back over. So I know it's kind of hard to see when I get started, but uh, we'll get it. This is cute though, I like this design. I'm gonna start 
down on the on an edge here. So I know it's, it's hard to see right now. Okay, I'm bringing up the bobbin thread from underneath. Step one. Oh, gotta go forward. Oh, no, backwards. Come on, bobbin thread. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna get my gloves back on and you'll be able to see it soon. Oh, you don't need any more hobbies. <laughs> uh, I know, right? I, I know. I am a very much in the mode of like working on everything. I'm, I'm like so, I don't know. I need to keep jumping around for some reason lately. Like with that, uh... oh my God, see, I can't talk again. Uh, with the, uh, that punch needle, that, I mean, I haven't done that in ages, and now I just totally, like, 100% want to work on that, and I got, like, quilts to finish, and too many things, and now, since I haven't tatted in, like, a week, <laughs> now I want to start tatting again, it's all trouble. Ooh, this is getting kind of stuck a little bit. So what I'm trying to do here is just like a bigger, kind of a bigger squiggle. Or loop-de-loops or something, I guess. Uh, most of this is actually going to get cut off in the final design. But I'm thinking like, you know, you'll see like a little bit of the edge uh, when we when we trim it. So it'll just add a little bit of texture. Why am I wearing the gloves? So this just helps grip the fabric. So if I would just use my hands, um, my hands just kind of slide over it. So I really have to like put a lot of pressure with my hands. Like I feel like I, I'd have to like really tense up my hands to really hold the fabric in place. I mean, it, it works, but it, it's just slippery. Whereas uh, these are my mom's gloves. I have gloves that have like a little, little rubber grips on, but these just are fabric. And actually just having the fabric, the fabric against fabric grips it a little bit more, um, more than just, just my plain hand. So, uh, because I have like the only way that any of this is moving is because my hands are moving it. Like the machine isn't helping at all. So I need to do all the work. Uh, and I need to be smooth too. Like I, if I slip or, or I'm not like pulling, um, in all, all consistent, in a consistent way, like if I was slipping with my, without the gloves on, then it just, you, your loops aren't going to be loopy. They're going to be choppy and stuff. So it's just a way to rip the fabric. Grip the fabric a little bit better. And uh, I never used to use them. And I was like, with my mom's, hers doesn't have any grippies on it. I'm like, well, how is that even working? It's not gripping anything. But I used them last time I was here. And I'm like, oh wow, this really does grip well, just with the fabric. And I think it's, it's kind of like how, if you have flannel fabric, it it sticks to itself. I think it's kind of that effect. Like because it's fabric, it sticks to itself. All right, now I'm getting I'm getting a little bit better at these loops. I think now. We're pretty close to the edge here. So I should be like stopping and moving my hands as I do this, but I don't know. Trying to get better. Trying to get better at my technique with this. All right, and I'm just gonna go off the edge, which isn't that pretty, but like I said, it is gonna get cut off when we have it in the quilt. So let's take a look at it now. All right, so we have our uh, uh, little daisy chain on the inside and our squiggle on 
the outside. And like I said, this will probably be cut off quite a bit uh, in the final in the final quilt. So the squiggle is just gonna be for like some border texture, which I think is pretty cute. Uh, and I think, you know what? I think the last bit I'm gonna do on this is I think I am gonna go trace this elephant. Maybe I'll even trace the little tail here. Ooh, that might be a little difficult, but we'll give it a try because uh, the tail's so poofy because um, we did that turkey work on there. But I think that's just gonna make the elephant like pop because by stitching it down, it's just gonna wanna like bulge in the middle. So that'll be kind of fun. I'm wondering if I go around this flower and go in here and I think I do wanna try that. So we're gonna stick real close to the edge here. And um, it's always kind of fun to peek at the back. Yeah, so we can still, the daisy chain looks really pretty on the back. Uh, it's obviously subtle on the back, which is which is fine. That's what I want. Uh, but we'll have the shape of the elephant here, which I think will be kind of fun. All right, let's give that a go. And I think that's probably all I want to do on, on, the ele on this piece here. So we'll probably call it a night after that. So a little early this Friday. Um, but then uh, soon I do want to start assembling these. Uh, so we're doing the quilt as you go method, which, you know, means we're actually quilting these smaller blocks and then we'll be assembling them by putting like a sashing piece here that will actually hold finished blocks together. So that's a little bit of a process. So I do want to go over that uh, with you guys. Maybe we'll... Um, we may have enough time uh, next week. So next week we're gonna be stitching the letter F, which is the fox. Uh, so we'll stitch that and I bet you we'll have enough time to maybe start assembling, at least show the process of assembling. Um, so if we can get if we can get the whole fox done and quilted by like, you know, end of Thursday, then on Friday we can actually start the real assembly process. And I think that's what's gonna be so fun about about this. I'm really, really, really liking this little daisy chain. I think that's just so sweet. All right, let's let's outline this elephant and then we'll call it a night. Oh, Brittany says, great job. I love the daisy chain. Yeah, I've never done that before with the, like, the itty bitty flowers. I could 100% see doing that again because it's, it's pretty easy to do the flowers. And the nice thing about doing a flower is you can enter and exit wherever the heck you want because you always end up in the middle. So if I wanted to come out here, I could have. So that that like flexibility <laughs> made me feel good. I feel like sometimes I get lost in these loops and I get like I get stuck and trapped or or like I don't or like they start looking straight and not as as pretty and arced anymore. Um, but with with the flower, I just kind of get a stop for a moment and then like do my little loops and decide where I want to go next. So I, I think that's, that was pretty fun. I, I'm feeling like that's more in my wheelhouse than like these perfectly, um, perfect like loops and shapes that just connect each other perfectly. And I don't know, I'm having a hard time with some of that. All right, I think let's start, I'm gonna start at this foot. Then we'll just kind of go around in the same direction we have. So luckily my mom has a, uh, you guys can't really see the the um, presser foot, but she has a clear, a clear um, quilting foot. Uh, mine is not clear, mine is, mine is um, circular. Hers is not a quarter inch though foot, but it is clear. So it's, it's great for this being able to see what I'm drawing and tracing and stuff. So for, for what I'm doing here, it's it's just perfect. I should get myself a clear foot maybe for quilting. All right, I am ready to go and I'm gonna just start tracing this elephant and I think you guys will be able to see it in just a moment when I come out the other side here. Do I feel like I'm gonna have to go slower for this though. I'm just trying to hug the stitching the embroidery without really going on the embroidery, but I think I've already gone on it. And, oh, hold on. I think, <laughs> I think we may be out of bobbin. Oh yeah, I think we're out of bobbin here. Oh, yep, you know what? This is the same bobbin I used uh, to do my quilting on the, um, on the granny square quilt. And I was doing tons of straight line stitching last time I was here. So I think I'm gonna 
my mom has another another bobbin here. It has a different color on, but it's just going to be going on the back, so I think we're going to be fine yet. I'm going to use this bobbin to finish this up. So let's let's get that in here quick. Oh my gosh, I always get nervous about bobbins on other machines because I feel like I don't ever do them right. Or sometimes the thread goes towards you, sometimes behind or away from you. Okay, once you get in the bobbin, it should be you should be able to hold it up without it unwinding um, once you get it in right. All right, let's see if I can do this blindly. All right. <laughs> I had it in my head to like, hmm, I did a lot of quilting last time I was here and it's the same bobbin. I wonder how much is left on that bobbin. And then I didn't check. I'm like, eh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> I suppose I should have checked. I'm just gonna con kind of continue where I stop though. But here's what we're doing. So I'm just doing that tiny, like a little bit around around the edge here. All right, so I'm, I'm coming back in here. Um, again, you'll, you'll see what I'm doing shortly here. Once I can come out from underneath the sewing machine here. But good, I'm glad. Glad there was another bobbin hanging out here. I did bring that quilt though to my granny square quilt. See if maybe I could stitch a few more rows on that. That is ready to do our free motion quilting on. So I, I would like to, that's another Saturday project. I just want to like spend the day, spend the day quilting. So <laughs> we're going to have to do some marathons over the Saturdays as of uh, coming up here, we've just had family over and, and you know, now we're on, on location and like I'm visiting my family. So I suppose that's good too. <laughs> I suppose I should be visiting, visiting family that, that probably outweighs doing a, a marathon stitch along. Ooh, this is a little squeaky. I don't know what that's about. Here, it's time to oil again. Oh, this is just so much smoother than any of my machines though. All right, so we're just doing that tight, tight outline around here. I think it's starting to look okay. Ooh, and now I'm gonna approach the tail though. That'll be kind of interesting. Is the tail. Ooh, yeah, the tail is just so poofy. Okay, I gotta lift up the presser foot and shush the tail out of the way. Okay, this is a little awkward, but hold on a sec. I might have to pick some of these little tail bits out. Now I gotta pick it up again and shush the tail the other way. Ooh, I went up a little high there, but I think the tail will cover it up. Definitely awkward stitching, quilting around turkey work. All right, good enough. I may have to pick out some of this tail, but we'll see how it goes. Ooh, this is getting kind of relaxing again. Love when it gets like that. I'm just trying to do the foot, foot faster and the hand slower. That's the realm I'm trying to remember to do. My stitches are pretty small. I might be going a little slow, but I'm being careful. I think this will just be a little extra touch this outline. Scissors. 
snip all our little ends. A little funny with that other color on the back, but hey, it's kind of fun. So here's here's the back. We we traced it a little, and like I said, my bobbin color has changed. So now we're we're gray on the back, but just just for this little bit here, and I think that'll be fine. So here's on the front. Here's where I got a. I think I caught a few caught a few tail feathers here. There, pull pull these back out. One one little hair in there yet. There we go. <laughs> there we are. So there, we just kind of traced him a little bit, um, and he is just a hair poofier now because we're we're holding down the stitches there. And you guys, I think that is all we're gonna do tonight. Uh, this just these little guys just go so quickly. I am just loving uh, working on these little squares. So uh, soon we will actually start assembling these. And uh, um, you, like I said earlier, it will end up being cropped in quite a bit. But each each square will be like framed with some colorful fabric on on all the sides and i think it's just gonna be so freaking darling and i'm just i'm just seeing underneath here my mom has some zippers hiding underneath her her um table here and i'm just thinking wouldn't this be like so sweet as like a big zipper pouch <laughs> actually this here we go with the with the purple and the the blue that would be just so freaking cute a little embroidered and quilted uh, zipper pouch. I think that would be so sweet. <laughs> I may have to make another one of these into a zipper pouch. But all right, you guys, that is it. Here's a little bit closer on the stitching. I'll just go around slowly. So we got our little big squiggles on the outside. And I just do love like these little kind of carefree little daisy stitches. I'm just calling them that. I don't know what that design is really called. It just is like a little daisy chain around. What's another way we could use that? Because that's that's a fun little easy design. That was a, my mom's suggestion, and I really like how that turned out. <laughs> so here's our here's our sample again. Here's our little doodle of it, and I mean I think it's pretty. The idea is there. It's pretty close to what we ended up doing there. <laughs> so I think that turned out kind of nice. So, all right, you guys, I think we'll call it a night there. Um, uh, I know we're done a little bit early tonight, but that went really, really quick. And I, I just love how it turned out. And I like the little extra bits that we put in as well. So I didn't bring the other ones with, so we'll have to compare it uh, when, when I get back home. But I really like it. So awesome. I hope all of you have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. And I will see you again at 8.30 p.m. Uh, Central Time on Monday. Hey, Amy. Uh, yep. Have a, have a great night, everyone. Good night.